Somebody said, nice hat, Jody. Thank you. We'll get to that later. Oh, thank you. Where are you going? Thank you. This is... Miss it. Bill Warder says hello. Morning, Glory. Good morning. Hey guys, am I sounding okay? Can you hear me? Will you let me know? Somebody said this video started. Gordon said, "Give Big Ray a little slap." Danny Hopkins says, what's up, Rec Tech family from the Cooler oh, Hopkins the brother. Hopkins brother. That's right. All right, so I guess I sound good. You guys can hear me and everything? Yep, yep. Ed says, yep. Kate says, here you great. Thanks, Kate. Richard says, stuffed cabbage is no joke. Richard, you already know what we're doing. Said he so smoked, a, smoked a huge radish in Missouri. Ooh. Came out amazing. What uh, time of temp? Give me time and temp. Time and temp, Richard. Richard, give me time and temp of that radish. It's a rad radish. Did you pour it? We got a holler from Colorado. Oh. Holler. I thought Boulder was the answer to a question last night on Germany. On Chip in Germany. On Jeopardy. Um, but it wasn't. It was Little Rock was the answer. Or Carlo Casanova chiming in. Said, Carlo! Jody, my man. What's up? All right, so now that you guys can okay, hear me, yeah. Yeah. you guys can see me, obviously. I'm sorry for what this looks like. God did this, not me. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're here at the world headquarters of Rec Tech Grills uh, here in Augusta, Georgia. Today is Fun Day Friday. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got an awesome day planned for you. Um, the... I guess you could say the spotlight of today is going to be beer, canned chicken, beer butt chicken, roasted chicken, grilled chicken. These are whole, a uh, whole, I guess you could say fryers. Um, they average about four to five pounds. We got the organic ones, um, but we're going to get to that later. Right now, we're going to get to the side of the day. Um, what did Richard call it earlier? Call it stuffed cabbage. Stuffed cabbage. Okay, we're gonna call it Rectech cabbage or drunk cabbage. We've got a couple of different variations for you guys. But to start all of these off, they're all the same. We cord the cabbage. Okay. And you know, I, I kept the cap, I don't know, I like lids to things. You know, I'm weird, so that's uh, that's why I kept that. Played a lot of puzzles when I was That's right, that's right. Um, so this one, since it's so fat, we're gonna make it a little different, okay? Um, for this one, I've got sauce, I've got cheddar worst sausages that I've already cooked this morning. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this Jamie's Gourmet Greek, put just a little bit of olive oil on the inside of our cabbage. We're gonna take this awesome Italian slash Greek seasoning. If you don't have an Italian or Greek seasoning at your house, this would be an awesome one to get. 
it's good all purpose. It's got uh, uh, some awesome herbs and spices in it. Great combination of flavor. I literally put it in everything from mashed potatoes, uh, vegetables, grits, um, chicken, turkey, pork. Sometimes put it on hamburgers to be a little different, some tenderloins, so it's good all-purpose. So I'm gonna take these uh, cheddar worsts and I'm gonna pack them in here as, as tight and as many, many as I can. And by the way, Matt, yes, the Worldwide Headquarters is open to the public six days a week. And That's you right. can purchase uh, not only grills, but all the accessories and apparel and pellets as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Here in Augusta, Georgia, 2004 West Side Drive, 30907. But as you can see, it's pretty basic, not very complicated. Don't overdo it. Me, I'm lazy, and I don't like to overcomplicate things. So because it's going on the grill, I'm also gonna put some olive oil just on the outside, just to protect it a little bit. Now when we cord these, when you core them, guys, that outside leaf is gonna to wanna to fall off. You're gonna to wanna to keep the outside leaf because it's gonna kinda of protect it, and it's also gonna let us know when that cabbage may be done. Because usually at, three, seven, at 350 to 375, when that outside leaf is very is dark, crispy, and pretty done, then that means the uh, cabbage is usually done. Now, these usually take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. We just want, if anybody who's ever eaten cabbage, when you poke it with a knife, you'll know, you know when it's done, obviously. So, I've also made these cool rings out of aluminum foil. Just super simple. I crunched up aluminum foil, bound them together, and we made a ring. Uh, obviously, cabbages, the way we have them, uh, they're a, just essentially a ball. So this little ring is gonna hold our balls right there on our grill. Our little balls of cabbage. We're gonna hold them right there. <laughs> And we got some ah, folks. Yes, we got the yes, folks laughing. There you go. <laughs> so everybody out there, <laughs> that was not planned. Sorry, I said ball. So there's that one. Like I said, we kept that outer leaf right there. So this next one, we're just gonna do what I would call regular. As you can see, we've got our cabbage right here. It's cored. Now this is a beautiful core. Matthew, you did a great job. This is just a symmetrical core right here, I tell you what. So me, again, I take this that uh, Jamie's Gourmet Greek Seasoning. We put it on the inside now. No olive oil on this one. I'm just gonna go with straight butter. And I cut up a half a stick into five. They're about, you know, tablespoons, I guess. And by the way, Richard said on that radish, 225 for two hours cord. Thanks, Richard. 225 on a cord radish. I like that. That's definitely going to be something I want to try. Um, so, guys, very simple, super simple. Butter in a cord piece of cabbage. And we're going to put the top back on there. You know. And then, like I said, we're going to protect the outside with a little bit of oil. Olive oil I'm using. You can also use canola oil. A shout out to all the folks that came by this week. We had a lot of visitors to the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters. AB, do you remember that couple's name that came by? I do not remember the name. They came all the way from Florida, Florida, seven hours, just to see the see the place. They already had their grill. They just came to visit. And they wanted to take pictures with me. That was the That's weirdest right. thing. That was the Matter of fact, she didn't want to leave. She told her husband, <laughs> take your time on the picture. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> so... Another ring, guys. This one's just basic. We kept that uh, outside leaves on there. Getting a lot of suggestions on what to put in. Uh, coconut oil, bacon, things like that. Coconut oil, yep. bacon, you know. Um, now, we're gonna do this one just a little bit different. We are gonna stuff this one bacon. As you can see, I've got some cooked bacon from this morning. Delicious. Dusted with Rasa Ruski's Honey Rib Rub. Available at rectechgrills.com under the sauce and spices tab. Now, this one, I'm gonna hit with a little bit of Greek seasoning as well. Rick is saying hey from Utah. Oh, Utah, the Utes. Nice. Hey Rick, thanks for watching, buddy. Now guys, if you've been watching, you know 
Ray has been in, been in some kind of mood. He's been wanting to give stuff away. Now, I don't know. We may be giving something away later on at the end of this video. We may be giving away something at the end of the next video. You never know. So always watch us. Ray made a backward shot and wound up giving a mini away to, what was that guy's name? Kirk? I can't remember that guy's name, but he's from Charlotte. He's coming in on Saturday. Oh, he won the mini? Scott. Yeah. Scott Lambert won the mini on Saturday. And Ray's back was shot. So he's going to come up on Saturday and pick his grill up, which is super cool. So you guys got to watch. You got to subscribe. Richard shared our video. So hello to everybody out there that Richard shared the video with. Appreciate you watching. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Richard. You the man. And I've also got this purple cabbage here. I'm not, um, I've never eaten purple cabbage before. I've, I've seen it as a garnish, but I've never eaten it. So we've also cored one of those. Let you guys know. I'm sure it's going to taste the same. Got Adam from South Dakota saying hi. South Dakota in the house. Hey, Matt. Matt in Illinois says he's getting his rec tech in today. Nice. Good deal, Matt. Welcome to the Matt, family. Let us know how that first cook goes. Remember, do your 400 degree burn in. Put a handful of pellets in the fire pot after you assemble your grill. Put your deflector shield, drip pan, and grill grates in there. Go ahead and foil that drip pan. Close your lid and set your grill to 400 degrees. Put some pellets in the hopper, of course. Let it sit at 400 for one hour. That's your burn and you're ready to cook after that, bud. Well, Brandon Faulkner, hello from Dubai. Ooh. Can't Whoa. wait to purchase one of these when he gets back from deployment and then telling his wife all about it. Thank well, you, thank you, thank you for your service. service, brother. I was not brave enough to do it. I'm not scared to admit that. We got Shane from London in the UK. What? The UK now? Yeah. I we, we got the, uh, what is it, the Open? The British right Open? Now, the British yeah, Open, Open Championship. The British Open right there. California. Our boy Jordan Speed in the lead right now. Sharing the lead, right, Eddie? Yes, yeah, shares the lead with Brooks Kepka, former Florida State Kepka, golfer. Florida State golfer. But it's just a normal fun day Friday here at Rec Tech. We just had a customer walk in, Andy. And he's chilling right there with his headset on. Do you guys have any questions? 855-696-0890 and ask for Andy. He's manning some phones for us today. Or just call him and say what's up. Curtis and Barbara shared the video. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you for sharing the video, guys. But like I said, Rectex out there. We're going to do this on the RT680. And at 375. All right, guys. Now, here's the drunken chicken portion got a, a beautiful Sessions IPA from Red Brick Brewery in Augusta, in, in Augusta, in Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to Red Brick, all those folks out there. So we're going to do a drunken chicken. Drunken cabbage. Drunken cabbage. Now you don't want a full beer because when you're pulling it off, you can of course spill it. So I'm going to drink a little bit of this. Harry's watching all the way from Scotland. My long lost brother, Harry Brown. It's a little early for beer, but I had to drink it down. I didn't want to waste it. Please forgive me. Repeat the name of the beer again, Johnny. It's a good IP. This is Sessions IPA from Red Brick Brewing Company. It's good. It's, it's got, I'm not a hoppy guy. It's got a little bit of hops in it, a great finish. And it's a Georgia brew. So we love Georgia brews here. So again, we're gonna put, I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the inside just so to give that uh, seasoning something to stick to. And I'm also, yeah, I'm a butter boy. I'm gonna put some butter in there too. I keep losing this Jamie's Gourmet Greek, man. This is one of my favorite seasonings that we have. I mean, besides Rasa Ruski's, that's my number one, just to give you a heads up. But this Jamie's Gourmet Greek is great, absolutely on everything, guys. All right, so essentially, Keep it simple. Just gonna put our cabbage on top of our Sessions IPA, and we're gonna cook it just like that, guys. Easy peasy, cabbage squeezy. Okay, so we're gonna put these on the RT680, 375 degrees. I'm gonna say about an hour. If I'm wrong, don't hold me to it, please. We're gonna let you know. It is 11. We'll be putting them on at 11:20. We got a couple minutes for 11:20. It'll give me time to walk back there, put them on. So they're going on at 11:20 at 3:75. Okay, we'll give you the exact time, exact temp, 
and we'll show you the exact placement of these cabbages on the inside of the grill. Uh, later on, we've got the beer butt chickens going on, beer can chickens, uh, roasted chickens. Uh, we'll give you some information about chicken and you know why it's a little bit different from you know cooking uh, anything else. If you guys have any suggestions, we love hearing the getting the questions. Roger comments. says, get you some toothpicks to hold your cabbage on there. Look at that perfect <laughs> suggestion. Thank you. What was his name, Roger? Roger. Oh, that man, Roger. Alan also said the same thing, toothpicks holding that cabbage that. steady. Thank you guys. Thanks to the RecTech family for let, for giving me a heads up on something. That is a great suggestion. Now we don't want to forget these of course, so always remember where your toothpicks are. So that was a great suggestion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, watch a little later. We didn't give away some on this video, but we might be giving away some on the next video. So we'll give you a, a little reason to watch us besides uh, the awesome food and uh, this cool environment. We really appreciate you guys. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the social media we're on there, Pinterest. Check us out. Uh, share our stuff. We really do appreciate it. Shout out to all the RecTech family. We love you guys. See you later. Fun day Friday. Woo! 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 What is it? Two claps and a woo? Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday. Lemon drops? Lemon drops? That's what you do. That's what you do. So, uh, I ain't got any plans this weekend. I'm not doing anything. What y'all? You got any plans, Rachel? Mm -hmm. You're leaving to go back That's to the... Oh, I'm going to go to the farmer's market. that toothpick in too far and I broke it off. Such is life. Ray said he's on the way. Ray on the way! Save the day. Ray. Alright guys, RT680 set to 375 degrees. in about 20 to 30 minutes we will put the beer butt chickens the drunken chickens the beer can chickens on also at about 375 and 
and those will go for about an hour 30 maybe till the internal of 180 on the thigh just for safety reasons they're not going to be dry don't worry but we'll also tell you some fun facts inside uh, thank you guys so much for joining us Monday Friday here at RecTech, Augusta, Georgia. See you later. Sorry guys, we were releasing the phone from its holder. Sorry about that. All right, everybody, you see our herd. What's a what's a group of chickens called? A herd. A pack. A herd. A pack of, we got a pack of chickens here, <laughs> um, and we, I've already got them lathered down with some olive oils. And what I'm going to do is, we're just going to season these up. Now, chicken, of course, you just need to be really careful. We always wash it off and pat it dry. Kyle says it's a flock, by the way. Ah, flock of chickens, of course it's a bird. Duh, duh, flock of chickens. So here's our flock. But you guys need to be careful with chickens, of course, with E. coli, uh, things like that. You need to stay out of the, you know, uh, the danger zone. Uh, the danger zone is 40 degrees to 140 degrees. You just need to be mindful of that. You really, with chicken, you really don't want to go below 275. Bird, poultry, you know, really does not like below 275. You tend uh, to uh, have rubbery skin and you, you just don't have a good product. Now the meat up underneath, you know, it's going to taste good, uh, but the skin is not going to be where you want it. So we generally do, you know, uh, our whole birds uh, 350, 375, to give it that good skin on the outside. Sometimes at the end we'll bump it up 400, 425, uh, finish off that skin uh, after we know that the bird is already done. So, let me kind of go through a myth with you guys. A lot of people think that adding the beer can to the chicken, you know, is going to add flavoring or moisture or, you know, or something like that. Well, I'm here to tell you it's really not. Okay, I'm sorry to, to bust your bubble or, or to break your hearts or anything like that, but just think about it, okay? We're, we're cooking at 375, okay? That beer can is inside of that chicken, essentially, you know, like, like our, our buddy Meathead said, that, you know, the, kit, the chicken axe is a koozie. So this, we've been, uh, we let this beer sit out so it's almost lukewarm. Uh, so just think about this, that 375 degrees with that bird around it. Your bird, you don't want to get it up above, you know, 180. So the liquid inside that can really isn't going to get above 180. And the boiling point of water or liquid is 212 degrees. So there's, it's not going to boil. It might release a little bit of moisture, but it's not really going to give you any flavor or anything. Um, they say, you know, of course, the best way to do a whole bird is to spatchcock it or either cut it in half and just do chicken halves. That way it cooks a lot more even, uh, and then, of course, you can check it with your, your thermometers or whatnot. But, of course, you know, we like to stick with tradition. We like cooking with beer and using different techniques and stuff, so uh, that's why we're still, we're still doing it, you know. Um, so today... Like I said, I've lathered up our flock with olive oil. I'm gonna put some new gloves on and we're gonna put some different seasonings on there. The first two we're gonna do in Jamie's Gourmet Greek. It's great on all poultry, pork, even beef. Like I said earlier, I like to do it with my mashed potatoes and all of my vegetables. So if we could, Matthew, can you, uh, I'm gonna keep my, my hands are gonna be the dirty hands. If you could open up this Jamie's. And just season me up everywhere. Do a shake leg. Do a shake leg. Okay. 
get a lot in that crevice. <laughs> All right. And if you guys saw the spatchcock chickens, I mean, we just essentially did the same thing, but we cut out that backbone. A lot of folks will also can also lift the skin, separate it from the breast, and slide slices of lime, slices of lemon. Heck, I mean, some folks even put slices of bacon, already you know, halfway cooked bacon, hard cooked bacon in that skin, keep it moist. All right, we're done with that one. That looks good, Matt. Good job. Grab this lawns. Matt said he pulled over for a little while, but he's got to get back driving, so he's got to leave us. Appreciate you stopping for a bit, Matt. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely going to take a Maverick 732 and we're going to put it in the thickest part of the thigh. And then I always like to do it in the thickest part of the breast as well, just to get two. Um, but I'm going to pick the fattest bird because I don't want all kinds of thermometers in there. That's just, I'm going to pick the fattest bird and then we're going to go on that guy. Get some in there. Get some in there, buddy. Yes. Some folks will put garlic cloves, uh, butter. Um, let's grab the cold ends. This, these chickens are going to be spicy. Like I said, some folks put garlic cloves under the skin. Somebody just said that, not going to lie, Red's, uh, Ray's head kind of creeps him out. Hey, <laughs> we feel your pain, brother. It creeps us out too, bro. <laughs> but imagine what Ray feels like every, you know, walking into the office every day and seeing that. <laughs> yeah. Looking at himself. <laughs> you guys, it's a super simple recipe. 375. We're going to monitor the temperature. We were shooting, you know, near the bone of the chicken for 180 degrees. That's just USDA. It's not going to dry our chicken out. Can I go in there? Yes. Let's grab that Bloody Mary seasoning that we've been working with. White top. Too. Debbie wants to know what time is dinner. <laughs> it's going to be lunch, late lunch, Debbie, about 1.30. Like I said, these should take about an hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes. But most, you know, chicken, poultry, you're shooting for an internal of 165. But just because we're feeding a lot of people, we don't want to get anybody sick. We're shooting for that 180 near the bone. Yes. Oh, yes. It's got that. You can smell that celery seed from that Bloody Mary. That's some good stuff. And this, uh, this is a honey ginger seasoning that we're going to do these guys with. That's the one I want to taste. Richard said he wished he was in Augusta right now. So Richard, you got to wear shorts. It's hot. <laughs> Frank wants to know about our rubs. Frank, you can go to rectechgrills.com yes, and check out all our rubs. Just go to, uh, yeah, matter of fact, all of our items right there on rectechgrills.com. And certainly you can always call us as well. Ask for Andy. <laughs> and yes, James, this is a pellet grill. All right. All right, so we're seasoned up. Honey ginger, Bloody Mary, spicy, Greek, and all-purpose general. Salt, pepper, garlic. Super simple. Don't overthink it. I'm going to switch gloves here. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to take these chickens out to the grill. We will insert the beer in the bottom of the chicken cavity. Shove it in there nice and tight. Um, I don't like to leave. I don't like to shove the whole beer in there uh, because a couple reasons. When we're going to take it off, it's probably going to spill everywhere. It's going to make me mad. So we're going to pour out, you know, probably about a quarter to a half of the beer. I know everybody's gasping, and but it's what 12 o'clock, and I don't want to drink 10 half beers. So, um, <laughs> but and Ray's not here to help, so uh, I wouldn't be able to do it anyway. We're going to go out to the grill. We're going to put these on at 375. Monday, Friday, full effect. We've got the cabbages out there, the drunken, stuffed, 
and smoked Rectech cabbages out there. We also did some cornbread. Um, I did a little vinaigrette for the cabbage. We'll, uh, I can give you that recipe now and I'll also give it to you later, but it's two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, uh, two shakes of that Greek seasoning, uh, half a small shallot chopped up very fine, um, and then uh, I like to uh, whisk in a quarter cup of olive oil in that, and then we're also going to put some bacon pieces in there too, and then we're going to drizzle that over the cabbage. It's going to be amazing. Um, but we'll see you back out at the Rectex outside, Monday, Friday. Let's do this. Rachel Lee says hello. Hello, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Here comes Ray Ray. Here comes. Here comes. Here comes Ray Ray. It's a 20 minute drive. I'm making it two. Woo! I'm not gonna ask that. Ray 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 is in the building. What's happening, man? What we got going today? What's that? So. Pulling out these beers, you know we don't want to do a whole beer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was every beer mixed together, folks. <laughs> you never want to do a whole one. Ray Ray, no <laughs> like you. <laughs> mm. That's James Lombardo. James Lombardo joined us. What's up, James? What's up, James? What's up, Big Book? So yeah, man. We, hey, uh, have we done this yet? No, no, no. Yeah, I got a great idea. Hey guys, East Georgia Metals. They're making custom. Uh, custom crates for the Rectech. Jody's going to show them to you in a second. They're going to be giving away a free set today. Everybody goes over to the likes their page on Rectech. They're going to put their names in a drawing and they're going to draw it over in their page uh, and give away a free set of grates uh, to anybody that likes uh, their page today. Um, by the end of uh, us doing our li live videos, we got several live videos today. So you got plenty of time. So you don't have to do it right now. East Georgia Metals. Check out some of their work. We'll show you their grates in a little bit, but I just wanted to mention that. East the grates are sweet too, yeah. guys. We can put a link in the um, yeah. comments as well. Cool, cool. So we're at, the, uh, we're at the spot we just seasoned them, they got them, these right? dope hats. Tell me about that. We just seasoned them. We got them all laid out. We got the Rectech set at 375. Right now we're just shoving beer cans. Oh, up the rears. I shouldn't have been no, here. that's fine. Okay. Because I told the folks, you know, really this does nothing. Because it doesn't heat up enough. It's not going to release the moisture. It's not going to flavor the bird. It's just really something cool that, you know, we like to do. People like doing it. Yeah, we just like doing it. So. This is a Red Hair uh, Brewing Company Gangway IPA from Marietta, Georgia. Going right up. Right down Broadway. Going, going right <laughs> up that bad boy. Right there. Easy peasy. Jody's done that a few times. Hey. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> so we can see he's up there. Ooh. He's chilling. Yeah, you can leave it up and right. It's fine. No, I'll be free. We got Paw Paws Peach Wheat Ale. Back 40 beer going in this chicken. Paw Paws Peach. Hey, Paw Paw. Paw Paws Peach. Right in there, guys. Shove him right on in there. Remember, this is our Bloody Mary seasoning. This is our Greek seasoning. We got one of my favorites, Laughing Skull. This is the lager, not the amber. They also make an amber that's delicious. Uh, there's also the Vortex in Atlanta. Uh, I love your hamburgers. You guys are awesome. This is another Atlanta, Georgia beer. Going, mixing with that Bloody Mary seasoning. I'll get a match of that. Just let them sit there. Just let them sit down. We got another yeah, convection current in the Rectech, so no need to flip or anything. That's right. Convection current wraps the heat wraps around the food and then exits. Yeah, I got a big head. We got the red hair SBF 5050 going in a Greek. 
seasoned bird. Shout out to Red here for all the cool beers. If any of these beer companies want to send us free beer for doing this, I mean, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just throwing that out there. Send us up. Hopefully, that little guy was a little wobbly, but that's all right. Miss Rec Tech has joined in. Beth. Hey, Beth. We got the emergency drinking beer yeah. from Wild Heaven. Wild Heaven uh, is out of uh, Georgia as well. It's one of my uh, all-time favorites. Ben Johnson uh, actually sells it in this area. A good friend of mine got me got me hooked on it. Emergency drinking beer. This one I just... You're hooked? Hooked. Ben Johnson, you got him hooked. That one I screwed up. Nope. Ooh. That's that honey ginger. Gonna mix with that emergency drinking beer. Here's another red hair, long day lager out of Marietta. Mix it with that honey ginger. These, oh man, shoving that one. These rubs. Get in there. Insane. Carlo Casanova's joined us. Carlo Casanova! It could be your pit master at Rec Tech Academy in May. We got Cigar City Maduro Brown Ale. Erica wants to win a trip to hang out with us on a fun day Friday. It, she just won. Tell her, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Watch her living like Canada. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's all laughing. <laughs> she just like, 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 hey, to say, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Jody, what's the average weight on the chickens? These are four to five pounds. Four to five pounds, Stephen. Say four and a half. Look at them. I'm being careful with these. I don't want them to fall over. My personal favorite, Pat's Blue Ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's got a blue ribbon for a reason, okay? I mean, this has won a lot of awards, oh. right? I mean, it's got a blue ribbon on the package. I can remember drinking PBRs uh, when I was about 18 over at Squeaky's. Squeaky's tip top. Nice central tip top. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Squeaky's tip top. That needs to reopen. Over on central. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, Lord. Look at that guy. <laughs> the name of the great company is East Georgia Metals, guys. East Georgia Metals. That East Georgia Metal. East. All right, oh, guys. East come on Georgia. In here. East, go. East Georgia Metals. Go like them sometime today. They're going to give away a free set of custom grates. Guys, I'm going to show you how to put your... Uh, I've got our meat probes through our probe hole here. And I like to do the thickest part of the breast. Well, that's not going to work because the thickest part of the breast and then part of that thigh to the bone. Okay? So that's going to give us a good reading. So we've got, what is that? Bloody Mary, Greek, Honey Ginger, Coldens. You good, right? You can go ahead and close it. All right. I'm going to get a Maverick hooked up to that. 375 is probably an hour and a half or so, I'm thinking. Right, Jody? That's right. About an hour and a half. Oh, we got two more to do. And then that Yingling. They're going on the mini? Yeah, we are still planning on doing the barbecue school, Sean. It's in May. It's called Rec Tech Academy. Rec Tech Academy coming in May. And uh, we'll be sending all the um, all the details out very soon. We're getting real close to being able to announce official, but it, it, we definitely are doing it. It's going to have live entertainment. Plus, uh, the school is going to be three days, including a meet and greet, and we're going to have several pit masters there. All right, guys, our last one going on. Yo, you see them cabbages? Look at those cabbages! Let's get in there and get a look at those, right? <laughs> I saw you stuff in them. They smoke this. Smoke. smoke. <laughs> well, pellet girls don't produce any smoke. Right? That's right. All right. 375. 375, guys. 75. Then we'll shoot over here. We'll show you these East Georgia metal grapes. Okay. We're seasoning these in. These. It's got your Red Tech logo. Bacon on there today. Red Tech. But they can put your name there. Your team. 
They're super heavy duty. Now these are eighth inch. I've got some three sixteenths. From seasoning here. Seasoning it over here. Oh. Rectech and the logo right there. Oh. East Georgia Metal, baby. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Shout out to those guys. Hey, and they're super. Thing, they're super awesome to work I with. I just want to mention uh, Diamond Dave Dangle again. He he uh, did a wonderful job in this one-off uh, Rectech uh, bracelet for me. It's awesome. Check him out. He's here on Facebook, Diamond Dave Dangle. He'll probably uh, uh, um, comment. And uh, if you, he's a custom jewelry maker, or wholesaler. Uh, you feel free to reach out to him for one-off pieces. But it's Fun Day Friday, guys. Love of the Red Paint Lifestyle. We're gonna finish off this beer here. This lukewarm beer. We're gonna finish yeah. it off. Can and we put uh, some smoke on it? Yeah, let's put it in the smoke box. That's cold smoke. <laughs> Get it cold. You guys, what a cold smoke. Somebody comment. Next comment. You're going to determine whether or not we're going to smoke this and drink it later. Should they smoke the beer and drink it, guys? <laughs> no. Say no. no. Say no. Someone say no. You got anybody? Somebody wants one of the Ray Heads. Somebody said oh. no. Somebody said no. Somebody said no. Thank Kim you. Bailey. Kim Bailey saved you guys. Yes. That was a close right. one. That was a close one. Because we'll do it if you guys want to. But you said no. So. But it's Monday, Friday. It is July 21st, 2017. We're here in Augusta, Georgia. This is the worldwide, worldwide headquarters for Rectech Grills. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got 10, count them, 10 whole beer butt chickens on it, 375 on the RT680. We've got some cabbages stuffed, uh, drunken. Uh, it's also got some butter and some of that Jamie seasoning in there. Those are at 375. Those will go about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Um, but we'll be back. It's Fun Day Friday. Fun Day Friday, baby! You're live. Damn right we're live. <laughs> <laughs> tell that joke I told you earlier. I'm going to give it to you. No, you got to tell it. You want to tell it though? Huh? I can tell it. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, you can tell. You sure? We got a little... Hey, if you want to hand it off to AV, we'll be done. We've got a little uh, chicken uh, humor. So, uh, chicken Cody, he's a regular old comedian. Go ahead. All right, guys, I got an awesome joke for you. We Googled today. Thank you, Google. Shout out to Google. They have 65,000 employees. Thank you. Um, so, Ray, uh, wait a second. Oh, I'm going to screw it up. Oh, I'm going to screw it up. Let me think about it in my head first. Um, Alright, 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 okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, alright. Alright, how does the rooster kiss his girlfriend? Is this thing on? What? <laughs> how does the rooster kiss his chickens? Kiss his girlfriend, which oh. is also chicken. Oh, kiss, kiss his girlfriend. You know, I don't know. With his pecker. Alright, okay, that was good. Let's get real. That was it. Show us what you did here, man. Well, everyone. Here are our cabbages. As you can see, this open one was our cabbage, uh, our drunk cabbage that was sitting on top of a red brick IPA. As you can see, it's good and tender. So I'm actually gonna uh, cut one of these up. And this is the one that we stuffed with butter uh, and the Greek seasoning. I think I'm gonna like that one best. Butter, and Greek seasoning. Here's our bacon stuffed. And then there's our sausage stuffed, which they're ooh, good and tender. So we're gonna. We'll just cut this one up for you guys. You can take away those outside leaves. Mmm, did somebody say bacon? And there you go, that looks good, doesn't it? Bacon. Looks really good. And then we'll carefully take another. Split it. You serve like, if you were serving dinner, you put a quarter on somebody's plate about like that? Yep. Like it. He's gonna dress it up with a little bit of vinaigrette. I told you guys about this vinaigrette. Like I said, it's gonna be two tablespoons Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of honey, 
a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, two shakes of that Greek seasoning, a half of a small shallot, and then you're gonna whisk in a quarter cup of olive oil, and then I threw in some bacon in there. And, um, but uh, yeah, let's gonna do it. Yeah. I just gotta get, right? got get in there, man. A lot of people are loving the way it looks, guys. Awesome. Rick's chiming in from Oklahoma, Andrew, oh, Barbara. I like that. That smells point. good, though. Is it good, Ray? It's really good. And that dressing kicks it up a notch. No, not so easy, man. No. Such an easy smoke side. Very easy. Just cord, turned upside down, uh, packed full of bacon. All right. We got the chicken. This was the cold screaming pig. And uh, what we're going to do is carve this guy up here. We, it went at uh, 375. Um, whoops. Oh, I don't want to miss it. Again, that's the best part. 375 for about an hour and 40 minutes. Wasn't it an hour and 45? Yeah, about an hour and 45. Hour and 45 minutes. So we'll get these uh, leg quarters off. Barbara wanted to know if the cabbage was completely cooked through. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Just record it. So that's going to help it cook a little bit faster as well. I wish you'd kind of break my wings, man. Have a good weekend. We got Mark chiming in from northern Nevada. We're going to be giving away something here in a second, guys. Stay tuned. Look at that crust. All right, let's get this breast off. Ooh, it's hot, man. All right, let me get this guy. I got this hot Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I messed up the skin on that one, Jody. I'm sorry. No, we got eight, nine of them. Yeah, we got nine of them. Hold on. Let me turn it around and slice this to show you how juicy. What internal temp did you go for on the chicken, Jody? I know you went a little warmer than Yeah, normal. we went 180 to the bone. Guys, watch this. Uh, you know, just because of the way chicken is nowadays. And we did have somebody ask what the other camera is recording, the iPad. It's, uh, that's our Instagram page, so you can also follow us on Instagram as well. Oh, we're live on Instagram, excuse me. All right. Here, let me get you some, some of that Mexican barbecue sauce. All right. Mmm. Brad North Augusta said you're making us hungry. It's a short drive over, Brad. Come on, Brad. You got nine chickens, man. All you local guys, come on by. Dan, Dan says he would have already tried a piece for quality control. We cooked. <laughs> Cooked on Monday as well. Well, Monday was the hot dog day, right? Or was it Tuesday? Monday. National hot dog day. National hot dog day. We cooked Wednesday. Here we go. Whatever it was. There it is. First bite. That's super juicy, man. On that concave board, collecting all that juice. How is it, Jody? Yeah, super juicy. Nice work, man. Very tender. Thanks, Barb. All right, ready for the contest? This is for Instagram and Facebook. We're going to give away a sauce and spice bundle for free. Those retail, what's that retail for? $64.99. $64.99 plus shipping. We're giving away the whole thing for free. Um, for the first person that says my secret phrase here in a second under the comments. Keep in mind, on your end, uh, it may look like you're first sometimes. They're going to yell it out on their end what they see first. That's who wins. Don't do the trick where you go back and edit. We know that trick. If it's edited, it doesn't count. So, the secret phrase under Facebook and, and Instagram to win a sauce and spice bundle, and Rachel and Ashley, y'all say it when you see it, say the name as soon as you see it, is just right bundle. Go ahead. All right. First person to say bundle gets it. Ed Wright is our first one in on bundle. Right. Ed Wright. Ed Wright. Thanks for job. Ed Wright gets it done. 855-696-0890. Ed Wright, call us. Somehow call us and we'll send it to you, man. All right, Ed, give us a call again. 855-696-0890. Well, his Instagram name is Cray Clay. Cray Clay. Cray Clay. Instagram name. We never really thought about that. So <laughs> no, still call. There's yeah, the bundle. You can still Ed. Call Cray Clay on Instagram, 855-696-0890. Give us a call. Free sauce and spice bundle. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for we, watching. Hey, also let me show you. You can pull all of that. You can pull this. 
Ben likes to take his chicken and just go to get in there with the hot and pull it for pulled chicken sandwiches. Oh, I thought you had the hot glue. It's okay. So to show you, it makes great pulled chicken. Woo! Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Shout out to Mark Weaver who dropped off 10 pairs of these gloves uh, and bought a Rectac. Mark, we really appreciate it, sir. Any of you guys, if y'all want to send us anything, Steve, Help. Steve we'll, wants to we'll know where you got the knife you. right there, Jody. That is actually Chef Greg Mueller. Uh, he's Chef Greg, affiliated with Rectech us. Greg. Rectech Greg. Uh, he Mueller, makes those. Mueller Knife Works. Reach out to him. He makes those and sells those. Oh, wow. Check them out. Um, but East Georgia Metal. We want to send us. Yeah, one last time. Craig Clay, the number is East Georgia Metal. Sorry, let me swallow that. They are, hold on, we'll give it to you in a second, Rachel. Uh, East Georgia Metal, um, eight, um, I'm sorry, East Georgia Metal is giving away a free set of grill grates for everybody that, that likes their page on Facebook by midnight tonight, they're going to have a drawing. So go like their page. They're really cool grates. For that phone number for the Instagram, 855-696-0890. Okay, so we're good to go. Hey, if you want to do it pulled, check this out. Makes unbelievable pulled chicken sandwiches. Mike said, make me a sandwich. Sandwich. We'll have it waiting, Mike. <laughs> and uh, East Georgia Metals. East GA Metals on Instagram. East GA Metals. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. Had a good time. Fun day Friday, baby! Have a good weekend. Good next week. Huh? Yeah, we're going to have uh, tuna and swordfish steaks. Tuna? Tuna and swordfish tuna steaks, and swordfish next, steaks week. steaks like next week. Can we do some scallops? We're going to do some scallops <laughs> as an appetizer. That's my favorite. Okay. I love, I love All right. Next week. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thunder Instagram, Ray! Twitter.